Hello everyone, this is Jeff from Mid-Atlantic Craps and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're back again for part two, bring that over here, part two of the second better explanation of the four squeeze. The purpose of doing this is if you didn't watch the first video, look at the video below in the description, sorry, the description below for the video, there we go, and you will see the first part of this, which went about 35 minutes and went through three shooters, uh, gave a real good explanation and some, some some further clarification from some comments I received from a video I shot over the weekend, as well as the fact of what happened since, um, I guess this is Tuesday, late Tuesday afternoon, early Tuesday evening. Today is the 26th. So if you saw the first video, you know what happened this morning with the fellow YouTubers channel and what happened on his Coffee and Craps channel. That's John's channel and how we kind of rolled in part one of this video into this. Okay, enough said, working out in a minute. Let's go ahead and head on over to the tables where we left off. And by doing so, we will take a look at, oops, wrong button. We will take a look at the tables, look just like where we left off. The only thing I did was go grab some dinner and come back and shoot this video. So let's go ahead and talk about it. This is the four squeeze, second video. Let's go ahead and count up the chips. There's uh, four, nine, 10, 75, 1086 is where we left off. Let's go ahead and bring these in and let's see what we can do. Hopefully we will have a better, I shouldn't say better luck, it's not the word. It, you saw that we took a thousand dollars and maintained it and we struggled um, in that very first video a lot to be able to be where we were with the hits that we took. Uh, so hopefully we're going to be able to show in this video how this um, this uh, video this video started. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get this thing started. It's real simple. One clarification. Let me make. I know that I'm talking too much. One clarification. Somebody asked me that if I'm going to put a twenty-five dollar down there on the on the DP, the don't, and I'm going to put a late one hundred and forty up there. This was a good point that they made, and I'm going to hedge the four for a full um, one hundred and forty. Why not go the full fifty? and just call it a wash instead of try to win some money to come out. It's a very good point. And what I'm going to do is I do it both ways. Typically when I come up to the table, I'm going to start out with a quarter and we're going to see where we progress to the $50 level uh, from that part. So the only other thing we have to do is pay for the VIG and put our uh, $2 on the O up there and we are good to go with rolling some dice. So this is going to be a random roller left off 10 rolls. As you can see, we had the first shooter establish a point. Two, uh, two rolls, seven out. Second shooter, establish a point, point seven out. Third shooter, establish a point, two rolls, seven out. How often does that happen? All right, random roller. Dice are out. And we have a, that's a two. How about that? For a minute, it didn't make any difference. It's going to be a winner. It's an AC Ducey. That's going to win us uh, a quarter. Let's go ahead and get that into the roll tracker for our first one. You know, as, as always, it's a little... Difficult to get that first number started on the roll tracker. So we're going to win a quarter. Yay, yay us, okay? But we still owe $2 for the O. So get $3 and change. Take the quarter off. I'll take the nickel off and we'll just rack this up. Everything's still set up uh, the same way. All right, so it's a random roller. I will be setting the dice on every third roll. We'll see how many shooters we can get in in this 30 or 40 minute video. Dice are out. Oh my goodness. Holy cow, look at that guys, right there. We're right back at doing what we did before. Let's see if we can recover. There is an easy four right off the bat. We get burnt for this lay. We get burnt for the, the hard four hop. I mean hard four um, bet. And wow. What a way to start this video. Also $2 on the yo. We're gonna to try to recover. We are going to try to recover this, all right. Points of four. We only got a quarter. We're going max, guys. We're going max. We're going to go to 150. Um, we got to try to get that back. Do the 150. That's going to give us um, 100 to play with. How I would like to do this 100. I know you're not going to agree with this. I like to do the power on the six and the eight to get us right back there. Remember, we're trying to build our foundation. This is a foundation building strategy. Got to get some reds. So we're going to be lopsided just a little bit, and I'm going to show you how we're going to be lopsided. Just a little bit. Okay. Now, we have 120, and we have 100 to win down here. So we're $20 off. On the come out, this would wash. We're going to hop the fives, which means that we're $30 upside down. 
There's not much more we can do about that at this particular moment. Just hope that this random shooter does us good with a couple early six and eights, okay? So we have the four established as the point. That was an easy four. Burn us right off the bat. Dice are out. And there's a 12. Well, <coughs> we're gonna lose the 12 here. We're gonna win the 12 there, but with the 12, we're gonna get an extra quarter because pays double, okay? We would've lost there. We would've won, oops, is that not right? Yes, we would've lost. Okay, let me do this right. I'm gonna pay myself there. I'll take this quarter out. Quarter there, there's a quarter going into the rack. There you go. I knew that was right. Sorry, guys. All right. <coughs> Random shooter, and the dice are out. And there's a three, two, five. That is perfect for us because that happened earlier in our um, first video. You saw us where we hopped the fives because the five isn't covered in the field. We're only spending $10 for three rolls with the field to come. We're gonna be uh, able to establish our base. We're gonna win $75 for the three, two, the four one would come down. We're gonna get our five dollars back, so it's eighty dollars. This is gonna to travel to the five. This no field is going to come down. And now we can we can set up we can set up our base. We have our base really ready to be established with that $70 win. We're close enough to our base. We have a green light special. We need to do the come progression there. Um, how do we want to play this in order to make this work right? We got to recover the 140. I'm going to reduce my bets here and I'm going to place. I'm going to run another come progression. I'm going to come out of the field. Um, 30, 30, 30, 25. We've got a quarter there. Let's place the 10 for a minimum and let's count up our money. All right, we have 110, 125. We have 125 and we won 80, sorry. We won 80, well, we won 75. Guys, we're ahead on the shooter. I think we're set up right. Although I really would have liked leaving the power on the six and the eight up. All right, random shooter. The dice are out. And there's a four, two, six. See, if we left that out, that would have been a $70 win instead of a $35 win, but we set our base. And that's the, that's the, the, strat, the strategy behind this, or the foundation behind this strategy is building the foundation. I'll get it out there, guys. Sorry about that. So we're gonna win 35. This is gonna travel. Um, we'll pull the 35 down. We're gonna add 10 in odds. That's 10 of the 35. We can go, we can go, uh, we're gonna still press a little bit. Remember, always be collecting, half pressing here, taking the eight to 36, the nine to 30, and we've got some odds on the six. All right, so that's a five. That's entered, okay. Uh, yes. All right. Dice are out. That was a six that traveled, right? It should have been a six. All right. And the dice are out. Oh, we need to have one more come progression because I do like to have three, although our foundation is built. Um, foundation is built. No come progression. We don't have to run that third come progression. I know that's confusing to some of you. All right. Dice are out. Ah. Uh, I should have run the come progression. We would have won 25 more. Another early seven out on a great green light special number. Wow. I was disappointed in my voice because I really want to show you once you get into that long roll after you build your foundation. So this is all going to lose. All right. It's a shame we can't get a longer roll. We would have won a quarter on the come if we had it. We don't have it. It's a quarter there, 75 there, and we're taking our profit that we made off of those hits, the majority of it. If we added it up, the majority of the profit is now uh, gone with that early seven out. What a shame. We're gonna bump this up to 50. We're gonna do what uh, I talked about in the beginning of the video. We take a real quick look here. There's four, oops, four, there's nine. We are up. Uh, but not enough to, to make it uh, from where we started at. So, back to the foundation, guys. I need reds. Oh, all right. 
yes, you hear some frustration and my disappointment because is, is when you're trying to want to show somebody how the video works or how the strategy works and you're getting, well, I'm going to call it the average rolls, it's difficult to, you know, do this because I, I uh, don't edit my videos. You know, everything you see doing here, I'm doing live on the fly. All right, so we're set back up. 50 on the don't this time. So that means that we do need still more, need more, need more change. Um, because when I have 50 on the don't, I come up with five on the yo. So we'll win something on the yo. If you take a look at our rack here, we have, uh, there's about a thousand there. So whatever's on the board is what we're up. 140, 165, well, we're 195 ahead. That's what uh, we happen to be up. And we're going into shooter number five, which is a random shooter. All right, we're set back up. I'm pretty sure I took the VIG. Did I not take the VIG? I may not have, all right? So, there we go. All right, dice are out, random roller. And there's a 426. 426. Oh, 426. All right, I'm gonna lose that. Now, six isn't a good number that we like. But as you heard me say before, I like to do the power thing on the eight. That's 60 of it. Hop the fives. This is very simple when you have the six and the eight. That's just how it's done. We want to avoid the easy four. The easy four we would like to avoid. So the point is a six. All right, random roller. Dice are out. And there's a five one six. <laughs> All right, guys. You can see that the rolls, the Dice gods are not with us in either one of the videos that we have shown, and we're really struggling. Somebody just playing the don't might fare a, a little better. Okay, we're going to lose the hops, um, the $10 on the hop fives. Six going to come down as a point. That's going to travel. We're going to lose a no field six, and we're also going to lose the 50 on the don't. So that was a big hit there. So our 195 just dropped down by $85. All right, 50 back out on the don't. I need reds again. All right. It wasn't a seven out, so the big's paid. We're just, uh, oh, we got to establish a point. Let's go ahead and establish a point. That 25 up here is at risk. So we have 50, 75 against 50. So we're 25 lopsided. If you wanted to, you could throw $6 up on the hop sevens to cover that expense at this particular moment, I am um, I am not going to do that. So the point of six was hit. All right. Dice are out. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my goodness. Just when we get back, we keep having that happening. You see my frustration. The easy four, easy four. How many times in this series has the two out of 36 Come back to, to hurt us. Let's see if we can recover again. Let's see if we can do it. Easy four. Oh my goodness. Gonna lose the 160. Uh, 160 comes from the, and I don't think I had my five out on the come out yo, so I would have lost another five too. Um, so that's 165. We have 50 here. We're going max odds again. That's going to give us max odds because we've got to recover the 150 or the 165. 150, that's going to be 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. Point's going to be a four. 200, we have 30 there, 60 there. 50. Let's go ahead and we're going to stay out of the come in the field this time because we got hit on the four. Something that uh, you really haven't seen how I played it this way. Make some change for the five because we're buying the four. I mean, we're buying the ten for a dollar. Look at our rack, pretty bare over there, isn't it, guys? We're going to see what's going to happen. Come on, shooter, come through for us. If you, if you round out what we've done here with the money, I have 200 down here, and I have 200 and uh, 
45 exposed. So we're 45 lopsided. Um, and we could still do some other type of lay or something, but at this particular moment, because we took the hit on the hard four twice so far this video, which is devastating, dice are out. We're gonna try to make it up. And there's a 10, all right? At least we weren't laying the 10. All right, so the 10's gonna pay us 50 for one. 50 for one. It's gonna be a half press. How are we gonna half press it? Oh! We're behind, full pressing it. All right, that's not in the strategy, guys, but at this point, taking those um, easy fours hits, um, we gotta do something. We're just looking at the board, all right. Random shooter, dice are out. And there's a seven out. Holy cow. Holy cow. Let's see how this fares because we probably should have collected. So we're not going to fare very well. As a matter of fact, uh, this video demonstration, 150 there, one, two, three, four, one, two. Yeah, we're taking um, $90 off the table. If we were to rack all this up, we would be down... Uh, we're down about oh, uh, $80, $87. And we started up $86. Think about that. That's what can happen. One more time, guys. I'm going to be the shooter. Let me get some reds because I'm going to need them. Um, wow. Okay. Oops. Those aren't, those aren't my reds. Sorry. Take the 50 off. All right, so 50 on the line, on the don't pass, quarter up there, one, two, three, four, and on. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, guys, I am struggling with this to say that this can happen, and we see it all the time in, in uh, the casino. All right, dice color change. All right, we went to the green dice. All right, we need to have the VIG on the four. Take that up. And we are set. We are the shooter. Five, six, three, five. Dice are out. Come out seven. All right, guys, what's gonna happen with that? Yes, you hear. The disappointment in my voice. I'm going to show you. It's going to cost us seven dollars. Five on the O. We're going to get paid seventy. Minus fifty and twenty is seventy. We owe five plus the vig. <sighs> Change back. Wow. All right. And I'm the shooter. I mean, you know, it costs us seven dollars. Uh, if I didn't have the 50 on the don't pass, we would have made a little bit, but we've got to make up that, uh, that money because we were so we started out $86 up in this second video. Dice are out. And there's aces. That'll help us get a little bit of it back. Aces, gonna be a $50 winner. And an 05 for the yo. Aces. Rack that. You sound, you can probably hear the air come out of my sail with how this has gone because it's just incredible that this is the third video I've done that we've had these short rolls. But this is what we see. All right, dice are out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Guys, look at this. It's come out seven. Oh, as soon as we get it back, we would take it away. It's going to cost us $7. I think you know how I do that. 70, 20, 50, and the big, and the yo. Wow. I mean, just take a look at the, at the roll tracker. 25 rolls. Look at the SRR. And look at our 7-out ratio. Holy crap. This Is this a cold table or what? This is a don't player, straight don't player's dream. 
That's what this is, dice route. Not a bad roll, but we got a good number. We got a 10. We have got a easy 10, which just changes things up just a little bit. Um, the, the, the squeeze four will come down. We're gonna lose the five on the O. Uh, the squeeze four will come down because you know the ten's a good number. Just shift this up here for the time being. Uh, we're gonna take uh, instead of one forty here, we're gonna make it uh, one fifty in odds. All right, that gives us a, a seventy-five, and fifty is one twenty-five to play with. Uh, one twenty-five to play with would be able to give us. Do we want to do the power again? I think we sh we probably should. Um, think about how we're gonna do this. I'm getting change for that one. I'm just thinking out loud, guys. This is this is what I do at the table. Um, we're gonna do the power on the six and the eight with the sixty. So there's one twenty of the one twenty-five. We'll do the come progression. They'll counteract each other. We're gonna hop the fives, so it's only gonna cost us an extra ten. We do need to protect ourselves against this. That's gonna pay us 140, 150. I could make that 25, I'm gonna leave it as it is. All right, I'm the shooter. So I have um, confidence in, in that side of it. Let's see if I can pull it out. Three, five, three, one, although I think in the other video that hurt us. Three, five, three, one, and the dice are out. It's a five, good. That helps us, remember? That's for the reason why I hop the fives, because the five's not in the field. I'm hopping the fives. It's gonna win a 75. A little air come back in my sails there, there, didn't it? All right, so it's a no field five. We're gonna lose that. It's gonna travel. We're gonna lose the 415, and we're gonna get paid $75. Almost enough for our foundation. But guys, what are we on? We're on the numbers we wanna be on. So how do we wanna play this? How do we want to play this? Do we leave the power out there? Because we just won the 80. You've got to counteract that. Think about this, guys. You got to counteract the 80 into what we have there. I think that we are now ready to switch to come out of the come. We don't need it anymore. Uh, we rack this 50 uh, and we play it like we normally would a strategy. We take another hit uh, and then we will uh, regress and then start back up because we've got to recover on that easy four. That's the only thing that's setting us back at this particular moment is that easy four. All right, we haven't had a really long roll. I mean, we haven't had a long roll at all in any of these series. The last three videos I've done, there's not been a long roll. All right, three, five, three, one. Dice are out. And this is my turn to shoot is why I'm doing it this way. There's a Yo 11. It's not going to hurt us. It's not going to help us. Yo 11. Video is exceeding 20 minutes. I was hoping to be a little farther along uh, by this time. 3 5 3 1. Dice are out. And there's an 8. It's a good number for us. Didn't like the bounce the dice took. I think I threw them a little high. Not very much velocity behind them. It's going to pay us 70. It's an eight. All right. So that's a $70 winner. 70 and 80 is 150. We have our loss back almost on that uh, four that we hit. How do we play this? How do we play this? We got the green light special. Do we rack the 70 and 50, which puts us at 120 in our rack with the money that's out there? So real quick, what I would be doing, because I'm the shooter, I would be stalling. I would be doing the math in my head. 120, 170, 185. We've won 120, so we're 65. We have that covered. I say we still go for it uh, because the dice. we have dice in hand. That's the only reason why I would say not to drop the 6 and the 8 down to one single green level uh, unit. All right. Three, five, three, one. Did I enter that number? I did. All right. Three, five, three, one. Dice are out. And there's a six, two, eight. Perfect. Perfect.
perfect, perfect, all right? Maybe things might change our way since we have the dice in hand. That's gonna be a $70 winner. Now, are we in a pressing mode or are we going to think about reducing some of these max odds down here? I mean, the table trends has been cold, 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 cold. Um, and what do we do here? We rack this again. That makes us uh, 190 to the good on this shooter, regardless of what happens out here. So we've recovered our hit on the four. I'm not ready to press yet, guys. I know you're probably telling me, Jeff, press. Jeff, press. But that's not the philosophy, because we never started out on the base. We never got down to, in this case, which would be 51 across. We started a lot higher because we had the green light special. Three, five, three, one. The dice are out. Oh, bad roll. Bad roll, got lucky. 6-1, I mean 5-1-6, 5-1-6, another $70 winner. $70 winner, and this is what we like to see. This might be the roll we're waiting for. It's dice in hand, we have control of it all. $70 winner, okay. What are we gonna do here? Half press on 70 would be 35. What do we do? Take that up, let's add some odds on the five. That would be 15, that's close enough. Let's go ahead and rack, uh, $55. So we add that to the 180. You see that we're at the 230 uh, mark on this shooter. We have control. We have control of the dice. We just did press. Our baseline actually started higher because we had the green light special and because we got beat on the easy four on our squeeze four. Because that does happen. You just have to know how to recover from it. Three, five, three, one. Dice are out. Ah! Whew. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm hitting my landing spot, but I'm throwing them too, way too high. 426, another $70 winner. Another $70 winner. And I think with that $70 winner, six, $70 winner, that would make us pushing $300 on this whim. Let's, um, let's regress. Let's be conservative. We got our money back. Let's think about it. Let's come down to the green level. Come down to the green level. Let's take a look at our rack. This would be a chip rail up in your chip rail. You should know where you stand. All right, our 500 is back. Real close to 100 on the reds. We have 200, 300, 350 out. Yeah, we are we are ahead, and we are going to consider this level a green level base because of how we started. We're going to go ahead and take a nickel and a dollar. We're going to buy the four, and this is going to be our base. So we switched our base from the 15 hour level because of the 10 and where we've gotten at the moment. So 200. I'm going to make my hard four an even quarter. Oh, that doesn't need to be on. An even quarter. All right. Dice are in our hand. Nobody else at the table could do it. It's up to us. We can do it. All right. Three, five, three, one. Dice are out. And there's a three, one, four. All right. We bought that at the right time now, didn't we? Bought that at the right time. That's going to be 40 for one. 314, easy four. Not sure how I got that out of that set, but it, I did. So, 314 for, oops, come out for some change. I'm going to throw $4 out here and take a nickel, guys. All right. We're going to up that buy to a quarter. That's one of our presses. Okay. Damn it. So we have this to work with and a quarter. Um, we need to press. Let's go ahead and put the odds back on the five. Somehow I think I just chipped myself out of that change. I think I took a quarter when I wasn't supposed to. In any event, four is entered. Dice are in our hand. Three, five, three, one. And the dice are out. Five one six. It's going to be a thirty-five dollar winner. I know most of you are saying you should have been pressing all along, Jeff. Pressing all along, greed gets you uh, 
places sometime, and sometimes it turns into cockiness. All right, so how are we gonna press? We are going to press it this way. Press, 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 rack the quarter. Rack the quarter. All right, so six has been entered. All right, three, five, three, one. Dice are out. There's AC Ducey. Doesn't help us any. AC Ducey. I know you hear me say a lot of times I come over on the horn, but that's not part of the strategy. I'm actually uh, with me in control of the dice. This is coming up on my 15th roll. Hope I just didn't jinx myself. Three, five, three, one. Because nobody else could roll anything, although my previous two shots were point established and uh, PSO. Very next roll. Dice are out. Yeah, bad roll. There it is, guys. I jinxed myself. Talked about it. Four, three, seven. That four die just slipped out of my hand and went way off to the left side of the table. All right, so that was a four, three. It's not a six, ten. Dice rolled. Seven out, and I think I'm going to call this video. That will be the end of six shooters. 31 minutes. Um, oh, let's see what's happened here. Let's take all the losers down. And let's see where we wind up because this was really a grind. I can hear a couple people saying that. Get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. 50 on the flat. 75 on the odds. And there's some of our profit that, we, that we're taking away. Let's bring this over. Let's rack everything up. Call the video. We're going to be up a little bit. Struggle for what we have. A total of six shooters. Two videos. Seems like I can't get past. Um, it's going to be 100, guys. I'm going to color that up. I'll take 100. Get a black chip for that. All right. So let's see where we are now. One, two, three, four. That should be five. One, two, three, four, five. That's nine. One, two, three, four. So there's our starting thousand. Wow. For six shooters and all that, we're going to go over to the board and take a look at it. One, two, three, four. One, two, two, three, four, two. So we got uh, $172 and we were 186 when we started at this time. Again, I'm going to say this, and people are going to get tired of me saying this. This is a money management saving strategy waiting for a long roll. And guys, we got hit bad, really bad on, on these rolls. Just six shooters, 37 rolls, or seven out ratio of 6.2, which is average. It's a don'ts table, maybe a little choppy because of that long roll. But the seven roll ratio is low. It's 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 a dark side table. I mean, there's nothing that you can you can um, actually say uh, you know about that. Um, I'm going to adjust this one screen, and we're going to show you the uh, matrix. The the matrix will come up. You just have to give me a second to hang in there. I'm going to bring this down. It's part of the power of uh, the uh, KPI. I just have to adjust adjust the screen just a little bit, and I'm going to shift this over and. Here we go. Move transition. Here we go. All right. So as you can see, it looks like we had um, six shooters, which is correct. You can see that at the left side of the screen, shooter one is off the screen. That's how the matrix work. So we see shooters two, three, four, five, and six. Look at that. We know that shooter one was, I'm going to scroll back here and take a look. Shooter one was establishing a point of eight, a roll of five, four, and a seven out. So we know that that was a four. So we take a look at the shooters. The first five shooters alone out of the 37 rolls um, were, you know, a little over half of the rolls that were there. Um, you know, think about that. Let's take a look at the matrix. What I want to show you is that green box, I mean, the, the, the um, black box, and you see the little step ladder there? Those are the expected rolls for 37 rolls, which you would expect. You can see that the seven, which is in the middle column, the highest peak, that seven is above oh, its average. But look at the six. The six is above the average. 
the eight came in just a little below the average. The nine was well below the average. The, se the five was um, at average. And look what hurt us. Look what hurt us, guys. The fours and the tens. The tens was at average. But the four is what hurt us on this because we got hit three times during this session with the lay four, with the easy four, never rolling a hard four. So overall, looking at those rolls, if you take a look at the matrix in the gauges, you can see the box hit is the top one. The inside number is the second one. Then it shows the fours and the tens, which is off the scale on the red side. And then the horn numbers are near nothing. We had one aces, two AC Ducey, one 11, and one midnight rolled during that roll. This table was tough. And if you were playing this table, playing this strategy, on about shooter probably four or five, you should have switched, noticing the trend, you should have switched and played something else. But in any event, we didn't lose money. We didn't lose money, guys. I'm gonna switch back over to my other screen here, bring myself back on camera. Um, and uh, we, didn't lose, we didn't lose the money. So, it, we didn't make a lot of money. Granted, squeeze four, it's a strategy, or as Brian likes to call it, it's a qualifier to get you to where you want to get. Those, um, that last roll with the, uh, the point of 10, we didn't play the squeeze four the right way to establish the foundation because, I want you to understand this, because we took the hit on the, uh, the fours, the easy fours, three times in the, those six rollers, uh, six shooters and 37 rolls. So we had to do something in order to recover. And we came out not only with our thousand dollars back, but we came out with um, the amount of money uh, that we started with. And then just a little bit more uh, than that. So, you know, this is the squeeze four or the four squeeze, however you want to say it. It could be the 10 squeeze or the squeeze 10, however you want to say that. In any event, guys, if you like the video, if you would, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you can, remember to, um, you know, uh, oops, let me cover it up. Uh, remember to smash that red subscribe and hit that that red uh, that, that bell sorry about that i got you caught me off guard i'll do it again sorry there you go remember this is all live recorded that makes sense i don't edit my videos um anything you can do to help the channel guys i appreciate it we got some good things coming up after halloween with that said guys over my 30 minutes and we're pushing 38 till next time guys this is jeff from mid atlantic craps till next time be safe and play smart